It's mm -hmm. really big, and the Super League, of course, is starting May 14. So that's the day all of them will be looking forward to see how they can also get there. And from table tennis now, we'll move straight to lawn tennis, but not in Nigeria. What's happening right there in Florida, in Miami? Well, Kaini Shikori, Nick Curious, there's just some players who want to sustain the momentum they've started early this year. Now, looking at Kaini Shikori, he was able to withstand the early assault from uh, Guy Morfis, and of course he won this match 4-6, 6-3, He dropped the first set, but he bounced back to win the last two sets. For him now, he will now be facing 24th seed Nick Kyrgios in the semi-finals. With the Australian, he was able to beat Milos Raonic 6-4, 76. Now, this is what we're talking about. Now, for Nick Kyrgios, everyone has been saying he's been more like his is is you get to know him more about what he's doing off the court. But right now, he's doing something really wonderful. But for him to actually get to the final, he knows he needs to really uh, take out this assist seed, uh, Kai Nishikori, who appeared to have. You know, the control of this game that he played, he lost the first set, second set, he won the third set, he won. And of course, this is the main man we are talking about, Nick Kyrgios. For him, well, you would say, is another player everyone had to look yeah. forward to. Yeah. Because, I mean, he winning the, this game in a very fantastic manner shows that, well, he's a player you really need to watch out for. Except the thing is, his inconsistency might just be his greatest undoing. Yeah, this, his inconsistency yeah, might affect his play, but but also he can draw motivation in beating uh, a top player as Miles Rani, who has is also a Grand Slam winner. Uh, in so, two sets, yeah. I've been I'm surprised. Well, but I, I keep telling you, I don't, I'm not too surprised <laughs> at, at the ATP World Tour. Anything can happen, but uh, also the player I'm looking at that can create an upset here is Kai Nishikori. I love the sort of tennis that Kai Nishikori is playing last season and injury and all just pushed him out of the way a bit and then there was a deep in form for him. But but that team right there, he knows how to take his tennis from one point to another. another. And that's what he's doing. And um, in that game, losing the first set and then coming, coming back also back. tells your character. And you know that final he's set. the sort of player that oh he's monitoring the game. And look at the final set seven season. You know it was a push, but he was still able to go all the way and win it. So when Kaini Shikori is in good form, I think he can play breathtaking tennis. Yeah, he can. I just can't wait for the semi-finals. Both of them would be meeting. And for Nick Cruz, is the first time he's actually getting to the last four of the ATP Masters 1000 tournament. So he's going to ha actually hold this one. When both of them get to me, remember, uh, Novak Djokovic is also playing a golfing later today. David Goffin, 15th seed later today. So Novak Djokovic, of course, we know he's going to get to the final. So it's going to be between Kenny Shikori now mm -hmm. and Nick Kyrgios. We'll be waiting who's going to win any of them. And of course, get who's going to win <laughs> that particular second semi-finals. And any one of them will get to the first Novak Djokovic, except something really and Something really unexpected happened to him. Maybe he yeah. retires or he's not at his best and David Goffin gets to beat him. But I really don't see that happening at all. And even if... Um, I'm Novak, ready to see him in the final. If Novak <laughs> goes on to win, who can upset Novak in the final? For me, uh, yes, Nick is playing I good think tennis. I, exactly. I think, Shikori, uh, I can go I there and, Shikori... and give Djokovic some challenge. Okay. Uh, my, uh, we're it's, looking forward to an upset, right? on HP Water event, so... <laughs> Uh, that's one anybody can just you know uh, push it aside so that's uh updates coming from uh the miami open it's all about tennis we're getting ready for another grand slam you know season but with all of this we can get you talking about tennis so let's get you talking some more on the show this morning sports this morning on channels tv uh we'll reach you from our sports center in lagos niger what are you talking about action packed money spinning engaging world of sports you can talk to us on twitter it's channels on underscore sports and on facebook but channels life in sports yes we can get your emails if you send us an email you can send us to our sports this morning at channels tv.com and all our top stories can be viewed on our website it's channels tv.com and on youtube for slash channels web you can be part of the show uh visit m.channelstv.com download the channels tv app for your ipad iphone blackberry your ios your windows phones and even your android phones can do the magic m.channelstv.com download the app i'll be part of all that we'll be doing uh this morning on the program i know football fans in nigeria are still talking about the super eagles of uh, super eagles and their failure to, qu to qualify for next year's african cup of nations yeah it's a bit difficult to move on we're still getting messages keep them coming i was talking about a 2022 
World Cup in Qatar. The controversy, Amnesty International saying, look, we don't like the way you're treating your workers. Amnesty International saying, you're not following standards in your construction. And FIFA saying, we're monitoring everything. We'll ensure uh, that they follow the standards and keep to uh, what we have put in place for compliance. So we're following all of that. Qatar 2022, some I say, is still a long time away. No, it's not. Because yeah. once you're done with the World Cup in Russia, here comes Qatar 2022. Okay, let's just give you a quick update on the Channel's National Kids Club. Yesterday was a deadline for submission of forms for the Lagos preliminaries. Uh, we're getting calls. Look, can I bring you to the... Oh, sorry. Because we will have enough entries, but we just hope that uh, next year you, you will be able to keep to the deadline, uh, read the rules and regulations on the website, channelstv.com, and ensure that you're right on time for uh, the Lagos preliminaries of the Channel's National Kids Cup. Next week, the technical committee will screen those forms. So I keep saying, when you're filling those forms, make sure you go through uh, the guidelines, the procedures, the laid out rules and regulations. The technical committee, some of them, they, they are qualified, they can qualify to work for FIFA. Uh, so they will be sitting next week. We'll go through those forms and then we will release. Uh, the names of um, the schools eligible to participate in the Lagos preliminaries. The draw for the Lagos preliminaries, um, no longer 11th. Kids, you know why we have to push it to the 12th? Schools will resume on the 11th of April, so we'll give you time to get to school, talk to your games masters about the Channel's National Kids Club, and then come to our headquarters on the 12th so we can do the draw. When we do the draw from the 19th to the 22nd, we'll be having fun playing football season eight of the channel's national kids club we're catching them young so that's it um Cecilia, yeah we're again another edition right in front of us yeah definitely mm. we just can't wait for it to start sorry guys for those of you who could <laughs> just in lagos who couldn't pick up the phone well next year just be the first i mean just be the number one school to actually pick up the phone fill it properly and ensure that all your students you're using are within the age bracket from 7 to 13. Mm. I mean, we'll, we'll receive a whole lot of entries and all that. So you can actually be part of it next year. Sorry for missing out this mm. year. Mm. But when you know when you need to, to do something, just to ensure that you do it on time. Because the time, it definitely can be fast when you want to do some, some stuff. And of course, be part of these kids who love their celebrations so well. We just can't wait for us to start seeing all of them. You know, April 19th, that's when the Lagos mm. Premier is starting. Off, and yeah. just two schools, two schools just from two. all the forms that we mm. receive, all of them that will be playing, just two schools will stand a chance to be at the Nationals uh, and, from Lagos. And 32 schools we feature in the Lagos preliminaries. Yes. 32, 16 will compete at Odecon Stadium. The other 16, 16 will be at Campus Square. And then we'll have just one winner from each of the centers. So the winner from Campo Square and the winner from Onico <laughs> Stadium will represent Lagos at the national finals. We cannot wait for the competition it's to commence. Very, this season very eight. Competitive. And look at this. We, just we keep to talking see more about goals. this finishing. Uh, unfortunately, his school lost that game. But it's okay. It's, it's got a fine goal that I'll see um, talking about on TV. <laughs> and you never know, Cecilia, someday, maybe. One player from the Channel's National Kids Club will be playing in the El Clasico. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I mean, if, if you see the skills, it, it's really brilliant. So it doesn't have to be like you have to go through the famous Barcelona's academy for you to be, you know, part of the Barcelona uh, team or Real Madrid team. So you can actually start it off from here. And I love the fact that Nigerian Football Federation, they are saying that, well, for China's National Kids Cup, it's now NFF protected. Right. So it simply means they will be watching out for mm -hmm. these kids. Yeah. When they want to start on the 17th, they know that they have a, a, a data bank where they can actually check their age mm. and everything and mm. pick some of these players right. from there. That is really what is important. Not just saying, okay, it's NFF protected. What next after each edition? So when you're having, we have a 13-year-old or 12 year old was able to compete uh, last year and of course uh, on the 17 is starting you will have the under 15 tournament also that Nigerian Football Federation is also you know involved in you can pick two three or four players from these schools and of course allow them to be there before you know it they just build a career in football and those who also want to go to school can actually blend that you know education and sport it's something you really can't rule that at all and when you put both of them together I'll use the words of Lumide <laughs> Deji. He says, you become a super, superstar. Not just a superstar. Right. If you are very good in sport, you are a superstar. But if you add education to it, you become a super, superstar. And that's what China's National Kids Cup is all about.